This news update is brought to you by... From rom-coms to dramatic tearjerkers and hit action movies, video on demand from Flo's got what you need, baby. Spend some wee time tonight. Oh, yeah. Simply press the VOD button on your Flow remote. This is how we do TV. This is how we flow. Good morning, and welcome to the Barbados Today Morning News Update for Monday, January 11th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fenella Wedderburn. Veteran Calypsonian John King signals his willingness to enter active politics, and he wants to do so on a Barbados Labour Party ticket against Dr. David Estwick for the St. Philip West constituency. King made the announcement at a BLP meeting held at the Princess Margaret Secondary School yesterday evening. Also wanting to challenge Dr. Eswick for a chance to represent the constituency, which he's been representing since 2003, are Shanika Robert Odell, an export coordinator and customer service representative, and Don Callender, a security consultant who was unsuccessful in his nomination bid back in 2013. No date has been set for BLP nominations for St. Philip West. He is neither for nor against the legalization of marijuana, but Attorney General Adriel Brafwick believes those found in possession of small amounts of the drug should not be jailed. Minister Brafwick made the disclosure yesterday in an address to launch activities marking Drug Awareness Month at the Church of the Nazarene in Bank Hall. He said there are alternative measures that can be taken through the Drug Rehabilitation Court. Law enforcement officers were kept busy yesterday following a number of accidents on the country's roads, two of which resulted in persons being freed with the jaws of life. First, four people were forced to seek medical attention at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital following an accident on Black Rock Main Road, St. Michael, early yesterday morning. 32-year-old Michael Rogers of Eden Lodge had to be removed from his vehicle with the help of officers from the Barbados Fire Service after his car and a transport board bus driven by Lafayette Collimore collided around 6.40 a.m. Rogers complained of lacerations about the body and the three bus passengers also complained of neck and back pains. They were taken to the QEH by ambulance. Then at 4.40 p.m., 53-year-old Sylvain Boss of Holders Land, St. Michael, was freed from her vehicle following a collision with another car in Spooners Hill. The other vehicle was driven by 47-year-old Cheryl Casper of Warren's Terrace, St. Thomas. Both were taken to hospital by ambulance after complaining of pain and bruising about the body. In more police news, three people have been charged in connection with a fight at Shafet Black Rock, St. Michael. Shafet Security Guard Gary Walters of Black Rock, St. Michael, Rene Griffith of Broomfield, St. Lucie, and Charmaine Moore of Four Hills, St. Peter are all charged with violent disorder. They will appear in the District A Magistrate's Court tomorrow to answer the charges. The incident, which has been making the rounds on social media, occurred around 9 p.m. on Saturday. In sports, West Indies now top the ICC T20 rankings. They reached the number one spot after Sri Lanka, who had largely occupied the top since 2014, were beaten by New Zealand in Auckland on Sunday. West Indies have 118.36 rating points and, now, and are now slightly ahead of both Sri Lanka and Australia, who have 118 points each. The Caribbean side have played eight matches since the end of the World Cup T20 in April 2014. They won four, including a world record chase against South Africa in January last year. There's regional and international news after this short break.
To pick up with news from the region, Trinidad and Tobago's top cop has labeled the society a violent one. So far this year, Port of Spain has recorded some 17 murders. And lamenting about the crime rate in an interview with the Sunday Newsday newspaper, Acting Police Commissioner Stephen Williams said the simplest things seem to end in violence, and in particular murder. He revealed that despite the record high 685 gun seizures in 2015, murders continued unabated. And he's calling on a society to work together to deal with and arrest the situation. The Pan American Health Organization says it is working with Caribbean governments to prevent, detect, and respond to the Zika virus. According to PAHO, from March 2014 through the first week of 2016, 14 countries and territories in the Americas, including the Caribbean, have reported cases of Zika which is transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. And it says of particular concern at the moment is the effect of the Zika virus on pregnant women and newborn babies. On the international scene, pressure mounts on Chancellor Angela Merkel and her open-door migrant policy. Thus, after attacks on women in Cologne and other German cities on New Year's Eve prompted more than 600 criminal complaints with police suspicion resting on asylum seekers. The attacks, mostly targeting women and ranging from theft to sexual molestation, have prompted a highly charged debate in Germany about its welcoming stance for refugees and migrants, more than one million of whom arrived there last year. And finally, Prime Minister David Cameron says he is hopeful of reaching a deal with European leaders in February that will allow him to hold UK's EU referendum. The Prime Minister said that the in-out vote would follow if agreement was reached on his reforms at next month's summit. However, he made it clear that he would stay on as Prime Minister even if he ended up on the losing side. If you lose the referendum, do you stay as Prime Minister? You can't, can you? Look, the answer to that is yes. My policy is to hold a renegotiation and then a referendum. That's what we promised in the manifesto. And then to abide by what the British public say. Now, I hope that answer will be staying in a reformed Europe. But I think it's very important Wouldn't that you? people don't get... You know, that the question on the, on the ballot paper is very clear. It's stay in or go. It's, it's not, not David this Cameron, politician's yes future or, no. or that politician's future. I think that's very important because uh, otherwise we won't get perhaps the clear answer that we need. <laughs> oh, you, think they might vote to get well, rid you of never you. know, you know. But yeah. I think it's, it's really important because, because be the policy was clear in the manifesto. Renegotiate, hold the referendum. And people, not just in the Conservative Party, but right across the country, right across the United Kingdom, have wanted this to happen. They want a choice, not between the status quo and leaving. Be they want the best possible deal for Britain or leaving. That's it would be what a I'm shattering delivering. blow to your own authority to lose, though, wouldn't it? Well, my authority depends on holding the renegotiation, holding the referendum. That's what right. I promised. That's what I must deliver. Okay. And that's news and sports. But for the very latest, visit our website at www.bobbylistoday.bb. Also, Subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 101 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Do have a wonderful day.